Howdy, y'all. Welcome to the Beverly Hillbillies Facts and Trivia. Y'all kick off the shoes and you set a spell, all right? Now here's your host for the show, that old Kentucky boy himself, Mr. Bob Snap. Welcome to the Beverly Hillbillies Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Uh, before we get started, I ask you to please subscribe uh, and please share these out on your Facebook page. Um, for those of you, someone asked on the Andy Griffith Show Facebook page why they haven't been seeing the Beverly Hillbillies uh, stuff on there. Well, folks, the Beverly Hillbillies has its own Facebook page and it's on YouTube channel, and I get complaints because I put so much that's not Andy Griffith on there. And I'm trying not to, I'm trying to ease off on that a little bit. I did post one yesterday, um, and I'm, I'll post one periodically, but uh, right now I'm putting the classic sitcoms on there, and I'm also putting that on the Beverly Hillbillies page too, so uh, I'm trying to, just don't get mad at me, I'm just trying to build all three of them up. Um, Today's video is on Buddy Ebsen had to practice boxing to deal with being a young entertainer. Yep, let's see what it is. Uh, many people who go into the entertainment uh, field haven't been encouraged in years past. Beverly Hillbilly star Buddy Ebsen knew that well. Relationship between entertainment and audiences is a funny thing. People enjoy being entertained, but for many, many years, the idea of a male tap dancing or singing on stage was often ridiculed. Buddy Epson, he experienced those issues as a child. The man who would go on to be an entertainment legend likely faced some of the harshest critics going to school. Boys will be boys may apply, but Epson's earliest days in entertainment weren't easy. Uh, on the other hand, his father, Christian Ludolf Ebsen Sr., was supportive. As a choreographer that immigrated from Denmark, he wanted to see his son learn those talents. But young Ebsen didn't want to take ballet classes, and his father encouraged, but ended up doing it anyway. In a 95 interview with the Florida Sun Sentinel, Ebsen talked about those days and the reaction from his friends and schoolmates. As you can imagine, I had to develop my boxing skills, he said, and when my voice changed, I said, no more dancing. But the seed had been planted, so when Ebsen witnessed a group called the Dixie Four tap dance, he couldn't help himself but want to learn. The future uh, Beverly Hillbilly star picked it up fairly quickly, and he was hooked. And the rest is history, as they say. Uh, because you knew, if you've watched, been watching my videos, that Buddy Ebsen was a dancing uh star before the Beverly Hillbillies uh, in movies and on Broadway. Anyway, that's all I got for you. Short and sweet, as always. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. And please share these out. Uh, let people know that they have to subscribe to this channel or go to the Facebook page. And both are in the link below or in the description below. Uh, and, and sign up on both of them or one of them or whatever. And that way you'll get these videos. Uh, appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Love you to death. Uh, God bless and I'll be praying for you.